full scratch joined in by Tempo. Yep. UCI and uh, so Chili Chili yeah. did get funded to come here all the way from Alabama. He's originally a Mario main, but since Mario is definitely not a mid-tier character, we're going to be going with Luigi who manages some yeah. And I mean, if you live in SoCal, you know the fear that Elegant and Kong Kong put into you with this character. So I feel like you have a little bit more experience with this character than like most other regions do. And especially, especially with Ike, like Ike is a strong character and he hits hard, but as people develop, like that speed really just messes them up. Like a lot of slow characters in this game are low tier for that reason. Right. He's very able to get these conversions down, but do keep in mind that Luigi has that crazy uh, cycle that comes up faster than his nair and can combo break into a kill confirmed. But Chili right. Chili getting comboed up for quite a bit of damage though, Luda. You saw Luna trying to go for the eruption, trying to get the edge guard, because you know Luigi does have that very linear recovery. But you know that was really good on Chili Chili to you know cover his recovery with the fireball and gets the quick nair to up air. You know that's just the bread and butter Ike things. And I feel like this is going to make it really hard for Luigi to kind of play his game because you know Ike has that really disjointed. Oh, that was so close. I was I was afraid that he was going to die to that uh, ether. But yeah, as I was saying, you know Ike's game plan is all about like I'm going to just throw out Nair, and then I'm going to see what you do afterwards. Ooh, but, ooh that was a good mix-up. I thought he was going to go for a grab of some sort, but here comes the pivot to grab, getting a nice amount of damage shot. 39, 50, 61, 70 already, my goodness. Like, sure you don't kill, but look at that damage. And he's going to go for the fair. Great tech from Luna. I was expecting a down air spike, but looks like he wasn't confident enough to go for it. But Luna, meantime, striking back and falls out of the cycle immediately, but Chili Chili coming back hard on the stop. Oh, yeah. And then there's the air dodge. And I believe the double jump as well. Does take in Luna. Now another stock. See, that momentum shift that Luigi has, like that's like the strength that you can get with these grab conversions. And Luna unable to really go for the edge guards due to his like, kind of poor recovery. And even though you got those disjoints, look at the Luigi. He's got the double stare, able to find his way in and just get around this air option. And look at that explosive 31% already. But gets it to the near conversion. He's still alive, though. Oh, yeah. I feel like Luigi's one of those characters where you want to get out at 0% as quick as possible without taking a full combo. So, you know what? It's 31%, but you know what? It could have been worse. It could have been 70%. He could be dead. You know? Yeah, it could be death. It could be death. But great carry. all oh, unable to get the coin. And swings the sword right into Luigi. The poor man. He is surely dead. And you go for the touches. Oh. chase. Calls him out, Chili Chili, with the mini pop off too. Yeah. I mean, I'd pop off like that, too, if you get that hard read. Oh, my God. And you saw he tried going for it earlier, and he paid for it with death. So when you get that hard, hard read, you know, it's a high-risk, high-reward scenario. I mean, he was at low percent, so, you know, even if it did miss, he would still get – it wouldn't take too much damage. It wouldn't kill him, but, like, he'd still take easily, like, 30 to 40 percent from, like, a nair, nair, up air. He did, like, a half of the buzz pop off. Right. All right, game two. Yeah, back on PS2. Uh, definitely it's a good stage for both of them, but you don't want to take Luigi on those like areas that give him some more to grab. And look at that easy combo. It's not death, but he can just chase you down for right. so much. 56%? Is he dead? No oh, way. Oh my god, that turnaround up B. It, it's so strong, because basically you can't hit anything unspaced on Luigi's shield. Yeah, they always take that up B, and Mike has hit so much, and he's still got the cycle available, trying to go for that grab. You know, Luna knows that he's not getting that zero to that pump. Right. But it's zero to 70, you know? That's like, that's not even good either. But if he needs to go for this edge guard attempt, can't get it down. It's actually really difficult to get it with the counter, it seems like, with Luna. Right. But he's getting that damage shot. And once again, he baits out the air dodge, doing exactly what option he wants. Right. And we talked about edge guarding earlier. You know, Ike, very, very good, like, forward. Like, hey, if you're going to recover horizontally, I can stuff you out with fair. But Luigi, every good Luigi player is going to recover low. Gonna keep on getting catching it down and keep doing it into the cycle call out. There's almost no time to react to it too from how fast that chili is chili is moving and my goodness, he is moving alright already two stocks ahead at a healthy percent. Oh my god, 38% tries to go for the jab, but a great pivot turnaround to get the grab on and Luna really struggling in this matchup. Can't get any nair conversions whatsoever. All right. And you see like every time he tries to go nair, like Luigi, quick fair out of shield kind of stuffs him out trying to go for another nair. But ooh, that was a great call out with the up smash right there. And, oh, man. I mean, he needed some momentum, but you know what? It's going to be super hard for him to make, mount this comeback. Uh, he's got the double air. Oh, the up be... oh, my God. I mean, Luigi is just one of those characters where you'd never want to get grabbed by this character at any percent. You know, at low percents, 
he has insane like grab combos, like 